Hello guys, what's up? This is Shirt Talk and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll be talking about the third part of the Bradley Default collaboration with Volcar Anatomia. And it's just the second part of the Fire Circle because this Fire Circle is actually the second event. The first was the Fire Dictionary and the second part of Fire Circle is the third part of the event overall. And I must say this is the worst part of them all. And why it is because of the farming uh, stuff that we have on this. Uh, as you may have noticed already, we have this uh, first stage with story, and then we have the challenge stages. The last one was this challenge three, and the boss was not even hard. The recommended mine was very low, and we could get mm, the silver currency just fine. Even then, it will be still very costly because the, the chances of getting double was very low. We didn't get triple. And the last, uh, the, the AP for currency uh, for runs was higher than normal. It's just you have to use 40 AP to run uh, the challenge 3 stage, even then, recommend mine being so low. The, the, using 40 we will get you at least 60 or to send the 120, that means 3 points for, per each AP. So, and this doesn't happen with this, this second part. You see that we have now five more stages called EX stages and the last one is called EX challenge and this one you get 40 AP cost for running and 40 uh, gold brooches for guarantee but you can get more from the boss it will drop from the boss you can get 120 from the boss but the chances are that you won't be getting very often it's just that this event is based on very old designs of this game and the triple chances were very very low. On, back on this day the, the chances were around 20%. So this was how uh, I was experiencing it here. I must say that I got some like in more than 10 runs and didn't even appear once the triple drop. And most of the time I was just trading 1 AP for 1 gold brooch and it was just tiring me off. I tried to do this event as soon as possible so I could show you guys but this was a very tiring process and I probably played uh, for like, uh, what could I say, 10 hours straight. 10 hours. 10 hours is the start duration, but at least uh, 6 to 7 hours I was working and playing the game at the same time. And then uh, only uh, just some minutes back I was able to farm all of the good brooches and I can say that it's not worth it. I made a video about opening all the chests. The video order will be different. I will just let the last video about the opening the chest um, for the last video posted because it, I think it's more important for people to understand that it's not worth it. And we could, always, uh, we could also uh, see the first part as a trap. Why it is? Because the bosses uh, may drop the, the gold currency, but he will most of the time drop the silver one. Yeah, the first part currency. Most of the events released uh, after some time on this game got to the point that the, the second part uses a totally different currency and non, won't drop the first part currency. This uh, When we started this game, most of the time I would say, uh, just skip to the first part and start on the second because the drops are better or something like this. And this happens on this event. You can see uh, that you have the two options here, the good brooches, gold brooches will appear less often and the silver one will still appear a lot. So if you farm it like me on the first part getting the silver brooches, you will just have wasted your time. Because by searching the gold brooches you will have a lot of leftovers on the silver one. You can see here I can purchase all of this. I can purchase all of this to me as well. Look, I still have a lot of silver remaining. I don't need gold on this game anymore. Uh, why did they, they let me just get more here? Okay, I won't be able to purchase all the silver it's here. Okay, there's still like, well, 17. But look at how many of the gold brooches I still need after getting all of it from the shop. All of the keys, I may say. I still have to get this weapon, I still have to get the two orbs, and I still have to get the ember. And uh, my chances of getting it to drop are very low, so I can expect spending a lot of AP yet. So, you can see that the, 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 the gold keys are not here, because I did the video open it on the other video, and the, the volleys are the same. Even if the gold brooches drop way less often, you still have to pay the same volleys for each key. The first set is 
25 per key. The second set is 75 per key. The, the third set is 150 per key. And the last set is 300 per key. This last set is impossible. It's the worst farming I have in this game. So, uh... I try to decide on what to do to help you guys decide what you should be aiming and it's just this image I created so you can understand it better. If you didn't start the first part of this event, don't start it, just farm to uh, just clear all the stages and farm the second part because you'll still be getting the silver brooches. So the best decision to do on this event is get 28 keys with gold brooches and then you get 42 keys with silver brooches. So this won't uh, cost you too many of the gold ones, so you have more to get the other stuff. The other stuff, like I mean, is the Awakening Amber, the two orbs, and the weapons, so you can trade for Divine Fragments. Don't try to get the actual skill to the max, because this currency is very, very bad. Okay? So by doing this, you'll be saving quite a lot of your time, quite a lot of farming, and don't get a headache. And this will get you to the point where you get your seal second Yggdrasil branch by the chests. You'll be able to get two Yggdrasil branches, one Awakening Ember and one Awakening Garnet. Getting all the chests will get you two Awakening Embers and two Awakening Garnets. But then, I don't think all that stressful farming is worth the one Awakening Ember and one Awakening Garnet. And I must say that all the items that you get before you get those shoes are um, not worth. They can be skipped. And there's just some of the name of this book. Pamir is in it. Quite a lot of mark free skills that you won't even have weapons to use it. It will just take space on your inventory. And just like it will be with mine. You can just go here on gift box and see how many items I got from this. There's are seven full pages of items from event reward. You can see it here. If reward, if it reward, if it reward, if it reward, and it stops on the page 7. You can see that it goes up to here. Awakening Garnet was the last reward I got. And a lot of tempered crystals, and a lot of uh, man human experience speed, and things like that. So this is it, guys. Uh, you kind of get some of the, the stamina potion. You use it to get to this point, but it's not even 20% of the what you use it. I must say I spent like... 6,000 AP to get to this point where I could purchase all of the chests. That's why I'm not recommending you guys to do this. Don't try to burn yourself out on this game. And then let's just talk about the last boss. This last boss is the best place to farm, like I said. But he will try to stone uh, all of your squad. On this first turn, he do an AoE damage that has a chance to stone all of your characters. It never happened to me to stone the four characters. But most of the time I was running on, uh, on manual for the boss, so I could just kill it in a single turn. And I was using this squad here, so it was just mm, very free to play, I must say. It's Emo, Rene, and Dion. I was just using Alicia here for experience in using the Shvelt Light. She was just casting the Shvelt Light on the first turn. Then I even would use Mogrod three times. Uh, uh, Rene would use the End Dive three times, and then lastly. Beyond, we use the Yufang three times. Yufang is not a free weapon, I got it from the Creation Valkyrie banner, but you could use just any other weapon that you had, just like the, the Blitz Schlangs is a weapon that also does damage, and I got it, uh, but it's not very high on level. Uh, let me just find it here. Yeah, this one. This one is very nice for this. But then, uh, just try to kill the boss on a single turn so you don't have to deal with the stone. Even if you get stoned, the boss just won't kill you that fast. He's not that strong. But it will take you quite a lot of time to kill it if you get it stoned. So this is why I'm recommending you guys to try to defeat it. Uh, but you still have to mineral. But it won't be that much stuff if you're aiming to do what I said. Just like here. <laughs> These are the information that you need. Get 1.4k of the gold brushes to get keys. And 3.5k of the silver brushes to get the keys for the first part. And that's it. Just finish with this. Get the best other stuff that you have. And finish with this event. It's not worth your, of your trouble to get this type of stuff. And let me just get back to one last check of the information here. Fairy circle. And you can see that I had gotten all of the items. All of my chests are open. It didn't even say it's complete. I, must, I should have gotten a um, title for this. 
<laughs> I, I swear that I will use it, uh, this title. I don't care about titles, but this one I will use. So this is it, guys. I don't think there's any more thing to tell about this event. Just try to get your Ember, your weapons or trade for Divine Fragments, your two orbs, and get the remaining keys that you lack. Focus on getting 10 votes. It's the best reward that you get without getting stressful. Okay? That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't, and we see each other on the next video. Bye!